word today is fresh, and that means that all of our topics and our guests are tied together with one word, and that word is fresh. Mm -hmm. And joining us right now is Alan Flora with the County of Lake, which if you don't know where that is, if you've been to the Napa Valley, you got really close. <laughs> you just needed to go up and over Mount St. Helena, and then you would find situated there beautifully among the mountains is California's largest fresh water lake. A lot of people think that would be Lake Tahoe, but you have to remember we share Tahoe with another That's state. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, the largest fresh water lake within 100% within the boundary of California is Clear Lake. And a very good day to you, Alan. Hi, Rano. How are you today? Fantastic. Thank you for being on the show. And I'm so excited to learn about some of the trails that are being developed there in Lake County. My parents had a home up in Lake County. My sister still has a uh, house right on uh, Clear Lake. And so I do find myself up in that region of the state quite often. And it does have very clean, fresh air. And it's perfect for getting out and enjoying that uh, through hiking. Absolutely, it is. We're really excited about some of the projects we have going on. Um, you know, the the clean air thing is kind of funny because uh, I grew up in the Midwest, and um, a lot of people from the Midwest who had respiratory problems like moved to Arizona or somewhere. And now that I'm out here, there's people from Arizona moving up here for uh, fresh <laughs> right. clean air. So, yeah, yeah, Patty. Patty's originally <laughs> from Phoenix, and yes. she can tell you that it's not necessarily the freshest of air in, uh, in no, that No, and my mom's family moved from uh, Peoria, Illinois, because... My uncle had breathing problems, asthma, and they said, go to Arizona. Yeah. And so yeah. now they're showing up in Lake County, huh? Yeah, they are. But it's, it's, a, it's a great place, like you said. Uh, it's, it's fabulous um, up here. And we, uh, we have, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of acres of publicly owned recreational land, um, hundreds of miles of trails. Uh, some of the, the projects that we're most excited about in our recent ones now, we have seven established water loops on Clear Lake, on and around Clear Lake. Really? So you can follow, you can literally follow the lake shoreline around the lake, at least to some degree? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we put some brochures together. Um, you know, we have them all gps and uh, things to look for where you can see uh, specific birds, um, hot springs, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They became really popular. Um, you mentioned Tahoe earlier, and this doesn't happen to us a lot, but they've actually started copying this program from us. Uh, hey, you got to like that, right? <laughs> flattery, yeah. right? Yeah, that is, that is flattery. Okay, so from my parents' old deck, uh, they had this beautiful view of Mount Kanaktai, which is the feature mountain in Lake County. It's right there. It's a, I think it's a dormant volcano. Absolutely, uh, yes. sits right there at the, you know, at the... The cliffs come right on down to uh, the lake. And for the longest time, I wanted to hike to the top of that, but was told <laughs> you can't, it's private land, there's no trail, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, what a bummer, because that's the most beautiful mountain, and it's begging to be climbed. Those days are over, right? Those days are over, that's right. Yeah, we had the opportunity a few years ago to purchase, the, there was a, you know, a family that had owned all of the main peaks and the majority of that mountain uh, for years and years. And, uh, you know, so there's a lot of people who have lived here their whole life and looked at that mountain every day and never been able to, to see the top of it or experience it. And so the county um, is generally in a pretty good financial situation. We had some one-time funds. We were able to purchase 1,520 acres at the nice. top of that mountain. And so just a year ago this past weekend, we opened it up um, – as the county's largest park really um, so we're very excited about that it's uh there's i don't know a couple of couple of main trails now that take you to Wright peak which is uh 4300 feet um elevation about a 1700 foot elevation gain uh, over mm -hmm. three miles mm -hmm. and we're this this fall and winter we're going to be expanding a lot of the trails there um you know, it's a large area. BLM owns another 800 acres up there. Bureau of Land Management. Um, and so there's a lot of public land. Uh, we have some, some money. We're looking to purchase some more of that mountain because just the views are unparalleled. I mean, with our, with our clean air, you know, we can see um, the Sierras easily. Um, you can really see the Sierra day. from there? Back down. Yeah, back down into the, We can actually see the bay um, in San Francisco. So wow. it's, it's pretty phenomenal. 
Oh, that is some clean air. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ellen, uh, as I understand it, like you said, there have there are people that have lived their entire lives looking up at that mountain and wanted to climb it and couldn't, and maybe now just can't because they're not in the stage of their mm -hmm. life where they can do some climbing with elevation gain, like you say. Yeah. As I understand it, you, there's a program that just went into effect this month that w they will take you up there in a van. Yeah, that's true. We were able to, um, you know, we got a lot of requests because of the elevation gain. You know, it's steep, and uh, a lot of folks that are older weren't able to make it. So we partnered with our local transit authority, and so six times um, throughout the the rest of the year, and I guess into the spring too, we have uh, our, we're selling tickets, and so it's like a little van ride. They can get up there. Um, go up and there's a there's an old Cal Fire lookout tower um, which offers 360 degree views that I was mentioning earlier. So yeah. we just had our first one here a couple of weeks ago and the response has been overwhelming. I imagine if you oh, can, cool. s isn't that cool, Patty? Yeah. I imagine if you can see the Sierra and you can see the bay, then you can probably see Shasta. Um, yes, I, I have seen it once. It's the conditions have to be pretty good even outside of our air basin to be able to do that. But I have seen it one time from the fire tower, yeah. Wow. So basically <laughs> oh, from cool. that one spot mm -hmm. on the top of Mount Canocti in Lake County, you basically get a view of northern California. Absolutely. 360 degrees. Yeah. Unbelievable. And, you know, I mean, besides that, there's a lot of other cool history. There's a, a lady that uh, homesteaded on the mountain in 1903. Um by herself her husband died she moved up there there's no water on that mountain um and so there's her cabin is still there um so you can hike over check that out her son-in-law is buried there under this biggest uh, gravestone you've ever seen with his name carved into it and there's just there's a lot of cool history a lot of tribal history on that mountain and um so yeah it's a great experience we're we're just thrilled with uh having the opportunity to be able to purchase that and open it to the public. Sounds well, so intriguing. It is. And it's one of those easy getaways from the Bay Area that I think uh, people, you know, some people think about it, but mm -hmm. others just are just clueless that it, about <laughs> that where they it even is. have that option. That they even, right. So uh, if your thoughts are to, you know, explore maybe Sonoma and Napa, well, this is just one jump mm -hmm. over uh, up to Lake County. And it really is a fabulous area of the state. I've had the opportunity to explore it for years, and I'm really glad that I have. And now there are some trails to help you enjoy that fresh air. Alan Flora with the County of Lake, thank you so much for sharing that with us today. Yeah, yeah, I would just like to say, too, I mean, we have uh, our wine industry is growing. Uh, nice. We got some premium high elevation wines. Good stuff uh, there. Which is a, a nice mix with our recreational stuff. So, you know, check out CanoctiTrails.com, LakeCounty.com, uh, see what we're all about. Come and visit us. Yeah, Siego Winery there, the uh, Vine Garden, definitely worth checking out. Uh, part of the Fetzer family, I believe. And, yeah. Uh, Boy, just uh, some great stuff there in Lake County. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate your time. And like he said, canoctitrails.com. If you can't spell that, don't worry about it. It is <laughs> eatdrinkexplore.com. We provide the link for you. All right, stick around. We're back in just a moment with celebrity chef Nathan Lyon.